Hey guys, I'm Comedy Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. The furry fandom is known to be one of the more creative fandoms out there. From designing these costumes we wear, called fursuits, to designing our own original species. Creatures we make up and design characters for. Some spe original species rise and fall quickly. Others hang on forever without getting any popularity. I'll be looking at the top five. E. Five is popular choices of original species to make into fursuits. Now, let me just say, all of the species listed in this video deserve to get their own unique video. Going into depth on their lore, where they came from, and the communities around them. This video is not going to be that. This is focusing solely on the fursuits. Are you guys ready for this list? Here we go. Number five is the Wicker Beast. Originally made by Damon Lady in 2014. With her original character, Wicker. Wicker Beast actually come in four distinct varieties. The Standard Wicker, the King Beast Wicker, the Swamp Wicker, and the Rogue Wicker Beast. Of these, I've seen mostly the King Wickers and Standard Wickers as the popular choices. Wicker Beast fursuits tend to have big poopers, small ears, long tails, and if I remember right, triangular eyes, as well as some very sharp maw. I don't want to get in the middle of those chompers. King Wickers I have seen and have more floof in the mane and on the tail, as shown here. You might be saying, why is the Wicked Beast on this list? They're pretty unknown. I would agree. They are fairly unknown, but they are still fairly popular as original species. For characters and fursuits, number four on my list it's the computerized raptors, the protogen. Created roughly in 2015 and by Malice Risu, aka Cool Konu. Pretty sure I messed up their name. I'll add it right over here. They start off with their own private primogen characters. When people kept asking for the right to make them, they designed a uh, pre-step in the evolutionary chain with the protogen. Primogens are a closed species and thus cannot be on this list, but I'm only focusing on the protogen. Protogens in fursuits typically look like a fuzzy kangaroo with ditchy great legs, long tails, what appears to be mechanical parts on the chest and legs, as well as some of the hit tails, but the part that is most well known about progens are their heads. These ones have a rounded visor, or it looks like they have computerized eyes and mouth. For progens built in the standard fursuit process making, where they're using foam, fur, and all the other goodies, if they do it where they cut out patterns, where they have triangular eyes and a mouth that looks like the heartbeat monitor, if you look at it from the side. But actually, these are one of the more creative versions out there, technically wise anyway, because if we look at the tech version, these are using a clear dome um, and LEDs with an onboard computer that you can Turn on the eyes and mouth if you want to. Some actually have a motion tracking sensor or a voice command option where if you're talking and you can actually make the mouth look like it's talking with you. Some have actually been used to make emotes with pre-programmed commands. 
like sad, mad, happy, dizzy. It's all been there. And you probably thought having a moving jaw was cool. Still is. Just not as advanced as this stuff. Number three on my list is probably the one that's most well known. And the one I actually knew about first when I first joined the Freddy fandom. The Dutch Angel Dragons, or Dutchies for short. Created by Eno8977, aka Telephone, in the year 2009. She designed a angel dragon, named it after her deceased horse, Dutch, and gave birth to the Dutch Angel Dragons. Telephone was such a popular character that she made the Dutchies public or an open species in 2014, roughly the same year as the Waker Beast came on to the scene. Dutch Angel Dragon fursuits tend to have digigrade legs, floor dragon tails, small to medium wings, large bloopers, circular eyes that typically have no pupils. Some do actually. Not sure if those are canon or not, but the thing that makes Dutch Angel Dragons so unique is that they whistle like a bird. That's how they communicate. A lot of, of Dutchy fursuiters will use bird calls uh, to do their character. I'll now try to say something in Dutchy. <coughs> What did I say? You tell me in the comments below. Number two on my list is the Thurgles. Created in 2003 by Mick Ono and Kiki Uma. Thurgle fursuits look like a cross between an otter, a shark, and some type of kangaroo. Body suits don't really have much that's different from any other body suit. Tails can be long or short. They typically have claws, the heads, are built like a shark, where they are triangular. They typically have razor sharp teeth, in character anyway. And these things are actually rumored to have originated in Wisconsin. Okay, I'm kidding about that. But hey, when you're nicknamed the Cheeseheads, you kind of have to be from Wisconsin, am I right? I probably just made all the Zergle community mad with that comment. Here's two fun facts about the Zergle fursuits. Fun fact number one, the term merp originated from Thurgle fursuiters saying it to each other. It got so popular that the creators added in to their canon about the Thurgles. Fun fact number two is if you gather enough Thurgle heads, put them in a circle, they will form a cheese wheel. Because once again, Thurgles are cheese heads. They look like a wedge of cheese. Number one on my list is the Mano Kit. Mano Kits were created in 2017 by Dubmutt. This makes them the newest addition to the top five list. Mano Kits look like a cross between a fox, a shark, and a raptor. Mano Kit fursuits typically have digigrade legs, a fishy tail, a shark fin on the back, big old poopers, long ears pointed towards the back, and slash for eyes. Kind of like Brock from Pokemon. Wait a second, does this make Mano Kit Brock's persona? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who let me use their character in my video. You can find the full credits that I was able to dig up for each one in the description below. Be sure to check them out and give them some love. If you liked what I did with this video and want to know more about original species, I did a video dedicated to original species pinned in the comment below. If some of the terminology confused you, I got a video linked to furry terminology or furry vocabulary, whichever you want to call it, in the cards above and description below. But that being said, if you liked what you saw and what more, 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, other furries you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.